Daddy's hot chocolate with whipped cream and a pumpkin. Liam's got all my loose tea packets. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Thank you. Losing my tea. You're losing my tea packets, mister. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Tuesday as I am filming this. It is October 8th. I am hoping to have this video filmed, edited, and uploaded for you guys to see tomorrow. So I'm sure many of you guys know we are dealing with the arrival of Hurricane Milton, which is not here yet. It's supposed to arrive Wednesday night. So as you guys are seeing this video, it is Wednesday morning and the hurricane is not supposed to be here until like midnight tonight. So oh, it's one of those storms that seem to have, I mean, it didn't, I was gonna say sneak up on us, but it didn't exactly sneak up on us. We've known that it was coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's brewing, it's brewing. But they're saying that they're thinking the impact is going to be the Tampa Bay in between Tampa Bay and Sarasota area. So which is like very close to where we are at. We're in the, in the line. So, um, it's just one of those things where you have to hope for the best, prepare as much as you can, and that is what we have been doing. So I had a missed video and I just haven't picked up the camera, guys. I've been, it's just like back to back. Helene was here a week and a half ago and here we are with Milton. So um, I just figured I would kind of touch base with you guys, talk to you about some updates. Number one, that being the one, the main update, is we are preparing for the arrival of Milton. Pretty much everything is closed in the area today. So we've gotten our groceries, we did a restock. Water, that's the other thing. We filled up our gas tank, so there's no gas, there's no bread, there's no water. Canned goods are gone. It's just one of those things where every Floridian right now is trying to prepare. And we're all, you know, just waiting, waiting for Milton to arrive. I'm hoping to God that this is the last hurricane of the season, but we will see. So yesterday I did have to run out to get some blood work done. So let's talk baby appointment. I had an ultrasound, just a little checkup ultrasound and the cutest thing happened ever. So baby girl, I can now say that. <laughs> so baby girl reached down with both her little hands. It's just so amazing too, like how small they are and how much they move and all the things that they do. So she is the size of a lemon right now. So she reached down, I, I'm not gonna be as cute as her obviously. She reached down and grabbed the umbilical cord. Then she let go with one hand and stretched her little fingers out. And then she grabbed both hands up to her face and she did one of these and it was really cute. She was holding her face and then she reached down and grabbed her toes. And it was just really amazing to see all of that. Um, and then I did talk to them about my out of breathness, which is like wild. And my arms and my legs quite feel very lead like, like very, very heavy. So I was talking to them about that. So they did like this full blood work panel and we we're specifically looking at iron as well because I did have an iron deficiency, which can happen and it's kind of common in your last trimester. So we're just kind of keeping an eye on that because if I am anemic now, there's a potential chance, which I'm not saying I am, I'm just saying um, what they were saying. Like if you're anemic now, there is a chance that you could be iron deficient right now too. So we need to get ahead of that. So I don't have the results for that, but um, I ran out to go do that blood work yesterday before the hurricane arrives and it was crazy. So evacuation order started yesterday and the main route, uh, US 19, along with I-75. I wasn't on 75, but I was on US 19, which is like one of the main north and southbound routes. And it was just bumper to bumper, bumper traffic stop and go, which does not happen in our area. And it was just like a parking lot. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is nuts. But so that was exciting with the um, seeing baby girl like do her things and stuff like that but i got the blood work done so we're checking on the iron levels um so with waiting for hurricane also i want to just give everybody in the state of florida and like still the carolinas and tennessee and georgia who are still dealing with the aftermath of helene um and then everybody in preparation for this hurricane if you are watching this video and you are in florida right now and you are waiting on hurricane mountain to arrive 
again, thinking of you, giving you guys a big hug. We are not, oh, one of the main questions too that I've been getting is if we're evacuating, are you in evacuation zone? So we are not in a mandatory evacuation zone. A, B, and C is, we are not. Um, our old house actually, where we used to live, is in a mandatory evacuation zone and that never happened when we lived there. It was always like evacuation zone A is always, 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 and then mostly B, but to reach C, we haven't had that yet. So where we used to live, that has been evacuated, which is just wild. But anyways, today is, I don't know if I told you guys, today is my birthday, officially my birthday. So that's exciting, everything's closed down. So we're having a very peaceful day at home, just kind of preparing and stuff like that. So. Um, Larry surprised me with a new Keurig coffee maker. I had pointed it out to him like months ago and I was like, oh, I really want this to make like lattes and frothed coffees and stuff like that. Um, and plus I have a Keurig currently that has the coffee pot. We never use the coffee pot. I got that in mind thinking of like when my family comes over, like my mom and dad and everybody are here and grandpa because they are like coffee drinkers. My mom and grandpa especially will have like eight cups in one day. And I got that in mind for them, but they like their coffee like a specific way. So they always come prepared with their own coffee. And I'm like, there's just no point in me having that. And I like, you know, a single cup serving and stuff like that. So I figured maybe we'll set up that today. That would be fun. And maybe finish off some of the rest of the Halloween decorations. And we're just gonna have a very chill lounge day at home. I also started to get a migraine today. I haven't had one in a couple of weeks since the last time I told you guys it was a bad one. And I was like, oh no, that's just wrong. On my birthday, we cannot have a migraine on our birthday. And especially with the hurricane coming. I'm like, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't have time for it. So. I ended up taking a Tylenol, two Tylenol and a Benadryl, and that seems to have done the trick for right now, but the Benadryl is hitting hard where I'm like, oh my gosh, kerplunk, I could take a nap. So we're gonna power on through, but I also wanted to tell you guys if, I like, I'm gonna be very active over on Instagram because it's like quick, real, and in the time. So if you guys have an Instagram and you wanna follow me over there, feel free to do so. But I'm gonna guys, I'm, I'm gonna guys. <laughs> I'm going to keep you guys updated with the hurricane and the status and what's going on here um, on Instagram. I'm going to keep you, wow, I can't talk, that, that Benadryl's kicking in. I'm going to keep you guys updated over there, but no, if for whatever reason, like I go radio silent for days, it's most likely because we've lost power and the chance of like cell phone reception. So we got an alert from our energy company that said, hey, expect power outages and also cell phone reception issues and connection issues. So if I also stop uploading uploading videos from, for a while and you guys don't hear from me for a while, that is most likely the case. Hopefully not, but that would be why. So anyways, cheers. I'm having some electrolytes mm. and an ice cube. I did like electrolytes to here and then top the rest of it with water. I was trying to keep this migraine at bay, but let me show you guys the coffee maker that Larry surprised me with. I'm very excited. He had it sitting out on the counter this morning. I walked right by it and then I turned around and I saw it and I was like, ah! <laughs> it was really cute. So I'll show you guys what he got. So here it is. It is a Keurig. You guys know I'm a big fan of the K-Cups. So it makes a latte or cappuccino in three easy steps. So you brew your cup of, cup of coffee or just do like a shot of coffee. I've never brewed a shot. Uh, maybe that would be like an espresso. Oh yeah, here it has the espresso roast coffees. And then it comes with the frother here and the frother is like super easy to dishwash and stuff like that. So it's just really simple. So you can froth your choice of fresh milk in the dishwasher, safe frother, including skim plus soy and almond milk, and I'm sure oat milk. Um, enjoy your creamy latte or frothy cappuccino. And then of course you can add iced and make like iced lattes and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let's take it out. Oh, let me show you some flowers really quick that I got for my birthday, which is really sweet. Some of them are the Trader Joe flowers still, but we have some Trader Joe flowers mixed with some beautiful roses. And then this beautiful bouquet showed up at my front door yesterday, which was also really sweet. It made my day. I love this beautiful flower. Is that a hydrangea? I'm not really sure. Or a, 
I'm not sure guys, I don't know, but it is really pretty. So let's revamp the coffee station and put the new Keurig in. Oh, also, I should tell them. <laughs> so Larry was out and about running errands. Was it yesterday, honey? Or was it the day before yesterday? The day before yesterday, he was out running errands and getting a couple of last minute items for us for a pre-hurricane. And I was checking to see where he was at. And I'm like, well, I wonder where he's at. So I pop onto the app and I look and he was at Target. I said, are you in my favorite store without me? He's like, what are you talking about? And I said, you're in my favorite store. I see you <laughs> as a joke, as a joke. And it was to get this. So that was really cute too. You guys are probably gonna think, oh, you guys are creeping on each other with locations and stuff. No, it's not like that. It's just like a safety thing, but here we go. They have, <gasps> does that mean that Keurig isn't a fan of Starbucks? Starbucks doesn't, isn't on here. Green Mountain Coffee is, Donut Shop, Pete's Coffee, and Dunkin' Donuts. Let's see. Oh. Ah. So exciting. All right, so we have our instructions. We have our beautiful barista frother. gonna be so easy to just like take out honey I may need your help actually I don't think I do I think I can just lift it straight out or I could do it yeah Larry's here he's gonna do it for us like how I say us as in you guys he's pulling our our coffee maker out <laughs> oh I can sprinkle cinnamon on top that's scary I'm when I did my gasp for air. Of course. Sorry. I am classic with that. Also, Liam is classic with that too, which cracks me up. I've always been a gasper. Like when I'm excited or when something happens, I'm like, ah! and Liam does it all the time, which I think I've told you guys already, but it's so funny because that drives Larry nuts. Oh, wait, the unveiling. Hold on. The nice thing about this was when I went to get it on the shelf, they only had two and they were both the same. So you were getting one regardless. <laughs> Thank you. Look at it. Oh, I also read that if you have a dark backsplash and dark counters and like a darker kitchen, you should go with chrome or like silver objects because it appears like the light reflects off of it and it makes things look uh, brighter, which that totally does. Like, look at that it's before beautiful. and after. It's so beautiful. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I love You're you. Welcome. So, also, what will be nice is actually the side water bit instead of the back. I mean, it's not that big of a deal and this still functions and works perfectly fine. I am going to gift this to my parents, I think. Um, and then I will have this one. So, oh my gosh, look at it. It has cold section latte, cappuccino. I am so flipping excited. All right, I feel like we have to do like a proper clean and all of that. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. Oh, I should take a picture. I should take a picture, honey. Take a picture before and after. See, I can also keep this frother as well, or I can gift it to my family too. So whichever, I don't think I need to. Is there a reason I need to? I don't think so. So I'm gonna gift this to mom and dad. Hang our pumpkins today, honey. Yeah. yeah? yeah. We're gonna finally hang the floating pumpkins. Uh, Larry has come to the conclusion, which I really do appreciate his patience, because <laughs> he was so patient, and he was like, "No, we don't need to cut them off. We're gonna, we're gonna untangle them." And they were so horribly tangled that it just didn't happen. He's over it, and I'm like, "Let's just, let's just save ourselves the, um, the stress and just snip, snip." So we are gonna cut it and we're hoping that they're gonna hang up on the ceiling nicely and stay afloat and look nice. If not, I'm gonna be really frustrated with this whole pumpkin situation. There's just no point to it. But that is the goal today for my birthday too, is to hang these pumpkins and it's gonna be really fun.
that this frother is dishwasher safe because the Keurig one that I have is not dishwasher safe. So that's, that's a huge, I mean, it's not a huge plus. I mean, it's just a convenience thing, but convenience is a plus. you guys think how does it look I am obsessed I love it yay here's the buttons oh we've got another sticky sticker sticky stickers everywhere oh my gosh how cute oh wait I forgot about our little mushroom picture maybe I should put it back behind the pumpkin see how that looks. So it has marinara sauce on it. How terrible. Let's see. Or this might just be overkill and too much. Well, might just be overkill, huh? That's kind of cute. Or I can find a new place to hang it. Yeah, I think it's too much. <laughs> Let's see. Got a plan. Well, there we go. Just right here on the kitchen wall. I think that looks pretty. Yeah, much better. So on the kitchen area in the nook that we eat, that'll hang there. And then here's the kitchen space. And then on this side, we have that fall picture. And these like will change seasonally. Okay, now I have to show you guys what the outside looks like because you would just have no idea a hurricane was coming. It is beautiful and sunny. We have blue skies with white puffy clouds. It's just the calm before the storm, as they say. We're a bit more overcast than we were this morning, but there's some blue patches, very light breeze really quick because I feel like I haven't shown you guys anything that I have picked out for baby girl because gender reveal. I didn't reveal the gender yet, but now that I have, let's sit down and do a very quick haul of the things that I have bought her and explain like everything. Hold on. Okay. So here is everything that I have picked her up so far. Um, I don't have that much. I don't think but we'll see. We'll see. So I'll tell you guys where everything is from. She is going to be a spring baby. Her due date is April, like very early April. So the first thing, well, this isn't the first thing I bought. I'll tell you guys the very first thing I bought, but I saw this at Hobby Lobby and I, uh, some people will either, I feel like you either love this or hate this. I think it is the cutest thing. It's just this little ballerina. And I thought it would be really cute as decor in her room so this is the first item and then also saved a ton of Liam's clothes like all of his clothes and then I went through it shortly after I found out I was pregnant so I went through everything and kept so many gender neutral items so essentially oh my gosh can I get through a sentence guys without being out of breath um essentially the only things that I'm really picking up for her are pinky, more like girly things. Otherwise, she is covered in like gender neutral. She has tons of gender, gender neutral items. So I think this might have been, mm, I don't think this is the first thing, but I thought this was really cute. Liam had a lot of woodland themed items as well. And this is from Target. So it just has, you know, Bambi and owls and acorns, some pink flowers and leaves. And when they are newborns, and just like those first few months, the best thing are these onesies with the zips, not the buttons, not the snaps. Been there, done that, learned that with Liam. The zips, super easy, especially for those middle of the night changes. Also, little mitts. Liam, especially when he was a newborn, he loved to like grab his face 
and pinch his face and scratch his face. So of course you keep the nails trimmed and everything, but things still happen. So just to protect, you know, the nails and stuff like that with the scratching, these cute little mittens are also from Target. And then we have teeny tiny little socks. Oh my gosh, the socks guys, so cute. These are the zero to three months. Jackie, while she was here, picked this up for her. It says little sister on it. This is from Target, very floral, very cute. It has little footies. I just got this yesterday with getting some essentials. <laughs> the essentials, this is obviously not an essential. Um, but I saw this at Walmart. It's Bambi and it's a newborn onesie zip. It has Bambi and Thumper on it. Very cute. Again, with the footies, a lot of, um, the baby clothes also have like the rollover sleeves. This one does not, but I thought it was cute. Sometimes you think like you don't need that much newborn things, but Liam was a newborn for quite a while and then was quickly in the zero to three months, but I still want to make sure I have newborn items for her. Next, this is from Marshalls. My mom found it. Again, these are zippies. It has cute little bows on it. And then on the other side is floral. The footies again. And then we have this cute set from Target. It does not have footies. So that's where the socks are going to come in handy. And you just have a two pack. Okay, this is the first thing I believe that I picked out and I thought it was perfect because she'll be a spring baby coming in April. It'll be like Easter season. And look at these little birds. And then you also have this floral and then a purple. So cute. And then with this, I also got the matching set with just the zippies onesie. And then a set of pants for zero to three months. We have three pairs of pants. We're almost done guys, we're almost done. We have, again, with that matching set with the purple birds, we have the purple pants. And then it came with matching socks. Look at the little bird, so adorable. Oh, and then there's a whole other side of little socks. Um, I got this when I was with, oh, I think I was with Luana when I got these. I was gonna say Jackie. I don't know who I was with. It might be Jackie or Luana, but these are from the Marshalls. Yes, Marshalls. I just loved the little neck collar and the frilling. It's adorable. And then the last item is these from Target. And it just has the little deer on it. And there's a purple one and then a gold with some floral. So that is everything that I have picked up for her so far. I haven't done any of like the bottles or like a lot of things like that. Luckily, because I had Liam not that long ago, I still have a lot of stuff. Like I have the baby swing, I have a crib, I have all of those things already. So that is nice, just kind of picking up odds and ends. I feel like your second is just so different where I feel like you're just a little bit more relaxed <laughs> with things. Um, that's at least how I feel personally, but we shall see. Also, I should give you guys a little baby bump update. I am 13 weeks. And what is today? So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I am 13 weeks, five days, soon to be 14 weeks, which is mind blowing. But here is our little bump. And you know, the funny thing is, is I thought I was showing a lot earlier this time around than I did with Liam. But when I went to go look back at my notes with Liam, I had marked in there that I started showing slightly that my abdomen looked a little bit more rounded at like 12 weeks, which is the same time that I started with this pregnancy too. So I'm kind of like in line with what I was, but sometimes you show earlier, sometimes you show later. It totally doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So... Anyways, that is my update for you guys. Now I feel like we need to continue on with this Halloween, Halloween decorating. I do need to bring my wreath inside from outside and all of my pumpkin decor from outside. So we're gonna bring all that in again, just because hurricane prep. Liam is still loving the Halloween tree and he is not fussing with it, not taking anything off. So that's a plus. Oh, also really quick, I picked up 
two new books from Target. I have heard so many things about the Pumpkin Spice Cafe and the Cinnamon Bun Cafe. So I've been on the hunt for those for a while. And then I finally found it at Target. I found the Cinnamon Bun Cafe, which just screams fall and cozy and the leaves are beautiful. And I just thought, you know what, this would be a really nice read. It looks like a Hallmark kind of situation. So I thought it would be cute to read. I will list it down below. Oh, they also have a Christmas tree farm book as well for Christmas time. But I might give this a read here very soon. I am in an absolute reading slump. I don't know if it's because of pregnancy and like hurricanes and everything that's been going on. But when I put my head down at night, the last thing I feel like doing is picking up my book. So I'm kind of in a reading slump, but I'm hoping to get like more energy back soon and just feel a little bit better overall. And I would love to start reading at night. So, and then the other thing, this is a little early. It's a seasonal book here, but they came out with the Christmas books. I totally didn't, I was on the phone with my mom. We were FaceTiming in Target. And then I saw the book and I literally just picked this out from the cover. It was the only hardcover book there. And I looked at the cover and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that based on that. So hopefully <laughs> I actually like it. Again, totally looks like a Hallmark Christmas kind of a situation. So I'm intrigued to read it. And also speaking of Hallmark, I think the Christmas movies are, all, are out on Hallmark now. They usually do that in October. Um, so we shall see, we shall see. So anyways, now that I've updated you guys on all of that stuff, did the little haul, and everything. Now let's go decorate. So let me see if you can see it sitting in our seats with the fan. Yep, you can still see it. Yep. Is there a light inside the pumpkin? No. Where do we get those? They're in another package. Oh. Go, Larry, go. Go, Larry, go. And yes, we're watching the Polar Express. That's what Liam requested. facing the wrong way. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> the silence. You were like, I'm not, I am not, I cannot be bothered. <laughs> That's not going to happen because they're fish wired. <laughs> oh, I know. Look at that. Is it going to stay? Yeah, AK on somebody's head, more like it. You. Does it seem like it'll stay? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I cannot wait to see it tonight. All right, that's one. I love how we have Halloween, Christmas, or like Halloween and fall ambiance with a splash of <laughs> Christmas. 
Christmas Polar Express. Update on the pumpkins. They were a complete fail. So Larry hung the one, which you guys saw. He came down from the ladder and then we hung pumpkin number two. Then he came down from the ladder and was on his way to hang pumpkin number three when pumpkin number one came crashing down. And we knew as soon as we felt like the weight of the battery packs that came with those pumpkins, I was like, there is no way those are gonna hold and they definitely didn't. So we are not hanging them. We'll hang them next year. Larry has a plan. We're just gonna use like our own fishing wire, thread it through and then put, um, there's these like tiny little nails that Larry can feed through and anyways, he'll be able to do it and we'll do it next year, but we're kind of over it. And it definitely didn't go to plan, but we came up with a different plan and guys, the living room looks so cozy, spooky. It looks really fun. Look at it. So the pumpkins are up top and uh, this is what our living room looks like. I love it. The plan now is to watch Crime Scene Kitchen. We love that show. We love the baking aspect of the show. I think it's fun to like go into the kitchen and grab the clues and kind of like see what they make. So we love that. So we're gonna watch that tonight and then head off to bed. Hopefully you guys will be seeing this video in the afternoon. I need to edit it in the morning. I'm not gonna edit it tonight. I'm just too tired, but I will edit it in the morning for you guys to see. Um, Wednesday afternoon and then our hurricane the latest update is it decreased to a four and then it increased back up to a five which I don't think they were anticipating they said it was going to be a five and then as it approached land it was going to decrease to a four hopefully a three before making landfall which even a three is still like really intense um, but for some reason it decreased to the four and then went back up to a five it's kind of nerve-wracking so We'll see, and we are as prepared as we can be. There's a couple little things that I wanna bring inside the house tomorrow, like the front door decor needs to come off the door and come inside. But besides that, we are ready, as ready as we can be, and we will just, we will just ride through with the rest of the state of Florida um, and go from there. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and spending the birthday, my birthday with me. Holy 33. Wow, we're 33 today, guys. That's fun. But um, I hope you guys have a lovely night and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye. Say bye, babe. Bye, babe. the storm 24 hours before.